Hello. Let's talk about something. Let's talk about relationships. More specifically, let's talk about relationships in Pattaya, because that's where I live. I see a lot of relationships in Pattaya. Me and my friend, we were walking to the gym tonight over on Soibakau, and there's a, there's a nice little juice stand that a Western guy has just bought for his ex-prostitute. He's obviously taken her out of a bar and tried to give her a legitimate business so she can make a legitimate income so she doesn't have to suck dick anymore so they can be boyfriend and girlfriend or husband and wife, whatever he chooses. Anyway, she had been serving a customer who was another Thai girl and something had obviously gone wrong and they ended up in a huge fist fight in the middle of the street. And this happened just as me and my friend are walking to the gym. So we, we sat back and we, we, we watched. We watched this fight. And you know, I mean, this is a full-on fight. This is fucking full Muay Thai rules. You know, you've got elbows, you've got fists, you've got kicks. You've got everything coming in. Now, at, at one point, a shoe even hit me. A shoe come flying. It was aimed. Someone, one of the girls took a shoe off and threw it at the other one and it, and it missed her and actually hit me. But anyway, that's how close we were. Was, we were right, we had front seats for this fight. Anyway, uh, I'm watching this shit and, and I just couldn't help thinking. I'm thinking to myself, this is like fucking National Geographic. This is like watching two chimpanzees fight on National Geographic channel. You know, it's fucking bizarre. So anyway, this Western guy... He, he must have been up the road or somewhere. He comes running in, he's, you know, and he, he's, he's getting in the middle of the, the customer and his girlfriend trying to stop the fight. And then the girlfriend starts swinging at him. The girlfriend starts swinging at him and all oh, oh, hell is breaking loose. It's shit going everywhere. And eventually he, he drags her away. She's got no shoes anymore because she's been throwing her shoes as part of, she's been using her shoes as a weapon. He drags her away and... He, he gets to the side, he shuts his fucking shitty little juice stand down that he's probably invested all his money. He sold all his shit in the country where he's come from, brought all his money here and invested in his fucking little shitty juice stand and put his ex-prostitute in to run this thing. And now she's fighting with the fucking customers. <laughs> so anyway, eventually he gets her on the back of a motorbike. Gets her on the back of his fucking motorbike and they're gone. Juice stand is shut. That's it. That's it for the day. So this other girl... She's on the phone. She's on the phone, and I, I know enough Thai to, to, to know what she's doing. She's, ex she's fucking calling in the troops. You know, God knows who she knows. She's telling people where the juice stand is. She's fucking calling in the troops. I'm thinking to myself, there's going to be more shit. This isn't the end. There's no way this is the end. There's, there's going to be part two to this. There's going to be part two to this scenario. And at the end of it all, I'm just thinking to myself, why? Why? This, this stupid prick, you know, it's like... Go to Thailand, they said. Find a girlfriend, they said. Open up a little business, they said. Live happily ever after in Thailand, they said. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You know, you, you can take a girl out of being a prostitute, but you can't take the prostitute out of a girl. She's always going to be fucking crazy. And, and they are. All, all hookers are crazy. It's just part and parcel. You have to be crazy to be a hooker because you're not going to survive if you're not a little bit crazy. And, and you know, tonight, like, don't get me wrong, these, these were both two pretty good looking girls. You know, I would have paid 20 bucks each to bang the pair of them. And that's what this prick should have done. You know, do not come over here and make these girls your fucking girlfriend. And do not invest money into businesses and buy businesses for them. Do not invest anything into them. Two words, two words for surviving Patea. The two most important words for surviving Patea, short time, short time. You meet your girl, you bring her, you have a good time, you have a great time, you spend a couple hours with her, and then you give her some money and you say, thank you very much, goodbye, goodbye, see you. And then you shut the door and then you fucking make a video like I'm making now. But, but don't get involved, do not invest financially or emotionally in these girls because it's going to turn to shit for you. His little juice stand, it'll be for sale soon. It'll be for sale. And him, he'll probably jump off a fucking building. 
Just another one. We call it the uh, the flying club, the potato flying club, because these silly cunts they come over here, they they bring all their money over here, they sell everything they have, they bring all their money over here, they buy these shitty little fucking juice stands or shitty little bars, and and it, it always it always fails for them. It always fails because they're putting some prostitute in to run it, and she doesn't want to be there. She'd rather be out sucking dick, but she's stuck in the fucking juice bar now, making fucking juice. She doesn't want to make juice. She wants to suck dick. You know, what's she making for one juice? She's making fucking, what, a, a dollar for a juice. She can go out and suck a dick and make $20. You know, it's just not what they want to be doing. You, you're forcing them to do something that's not natural for them and something they don't want to do. So his little juice stand will be for sale soon. He'll probably jump off a fucking building and she'll move on to the next one. She'll move on to the next one. But remember, just come over here and enjoy yourself. Don't get yourselves emotionally involved. You don't need to. Two words. Short time. Short time. Listen to me. Listen. Short time. It's the only way to live here. It's the only way to survive here. Always good talking to you guys. I'm going to go back to the juice stand. Tomorrow night I'm going to go back and I'm, I'm, going, to, I'm going to check out what's happening down the juice stand. I might even buy the juice stand and put one of my prostitutes in to run it. <laughs> Have a good night, guys. Always good talking to you. See ya.